सो हेलो दर एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू अनदर ट्यूटोरियल टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ वी कैन रिवाइंड पोजिशन फॉर आवर प्लेयर्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई हैव गॉट ए कैप्सुलेयर इज जस्ट ए सिंपल बेसिक मूवमेंट स्क्रिप्ट अटैच टू इट सो एज यू कैन सी आई कैन डू सम मूवमेंट लेफ्ट राइट बट वंस आई होल्ड आर इट विल रिट्रेट रिट्रेस इट्स पाथ एज यू कैन सी इट्स रिट्रेसिंग इट्स पाथ एंड सपोज आई मूव लाइक दिस एंड जस्ट होल्ड आर इट विल रिट्रेस इट एंड यू कैन यूज दिस thing to implement many things in your games like uh, rewinding players and many other interesting systems by adding more features into this system so let's not waste much time and let's see how this things are done let's just see how our orientation is there for our player so at the very first we have got our capsule with the movement script attached to it just very basic movement script like moving forward backward with horizontal and vertical input system with keys w s a w a d and next is this is the main thing which does all the things like rewinding for the player which is a rewind script i have named it wrongly you can name it back to rewind just open your rewind script just you can or you can just create it by pressing right click create or c sub script and name it whatever you want and if you see in the script part there is a, not much here but it's a, like a very simple stuff as i've already commented things out let me just explain you each and everything how the things are going on so at the very first we have our max rewind duration it's the amount of time the rewind will happen like suppose you hold r it should just not keep rewinding and rewinding up to infin infinite times backward just you can just fix it like up to just 5 seconds for backward it will rewind and after that the rewinding system will stop okay and next we have our rewind speed it's the rate at which the rewinding will happen like so slow rewind or faster rewind like that next is is rewinding it's just a boolean type variable which will just keep the track if the rewinding is happening or not generally initially we are initializing it with false next we have a list here actually and it's a list of type time snapshot here as you can see you will not find time snapshot uh, like in built in unity i have created a struct here all like a structure which, which is like a custom variable you create in which you can declare your own variable types whichever you want inside them it's like your own custom variable so i have named it time snapshot you can name it whatever you want and the variable name is time time snapshot and i am creating a new list of that so that's why we are using a new here and then afterwards if we go down and see we have our structure here time snapshot with the vector 3 position which will hold the x y and z values of our player and a quaternion for rotation named rotation it will just hold the rotation of the player and then there is a constructor type or initializer type thing here called time snapshot time snapshot which will take two parameters vector 3 position and a quaternion rotation this will hold the position and this will hold the rotation and we will just initialize it to the variables here like position will take this value and rotation will take this value okay so that's for the structure here next if we go down we have our update part here which will just uh, check if the player is holding the r key or not you can initialize whatever key you want if the player is holding the r key we will start the rewind it's a function that we will write afterwards start rewind or you can name it whatever you want next we have input dot get key up it's like if the player releases the key whatever you have assigned the rewinding should stop so that's why we will call a stop rewind function for that next we have our private void fixed update which just keeps on checking of every fixed interval of time rather than update which just keeps on checking every frame so for smooth proper movement we just use fixed update here we are just checking first if it's not rewinding if it's not rewinding we must keep the record of the positions that we are going through so that's why if not rewinding initially it's false so that's why it's just checking if the rewinding thing is false then we will keep on recording snapshots every fixed interval of time and if it's rewinding 
then we will rewind time here as you can see so therefore if it's not rewinding then we will record the position of the player by calling a function name record snapshot which we will create afterwards and if it's rewinding we will just rewind time next we have our private void record snapshot that's the function we used up for recording the position of the player every fixed interval of time which we called above so what's inside this so you remember we have created a list or a structure of time snapshot so that's the thing here so time a snapshot is a list which we created up here wait let me so if you will get confused so this thing and this thing private or list time snapshots it's actually a list of structure named time snapshot which we created here so next we will just insert its position uh, like we will just keep on inserting a new time snapshot with uh, position as transform dot position and rotation as transform dot rotation here so as you remember before we have that function time snapshot which which took two parameter position and rotation so that's the thing we are assigning it so that it just keeps a track on that and it will insert it then next we will check if time snapshots dot count which is the number of positions inserted into that like list we created so number of items of type time snapshot inside that list like one two three four five six positions and rotation might have been stored like that that's the count here okay and we are checking it if it's greater than max rewind duration by time dot fix delta time it's like just a limit here like up to which limit we can store it here so that's why we are using it here it's like it will just give us a limit if it's exceed we will just remove from the starting position okay suppose these are the positions like this is the latest one in the list and this is the older one in the list so if the next comes and we have a size of five only that is required we will just remove this one another one will be added another one will be added and we will just keep on removing from backward if the time keeps on so we just keep on track of five positions for example here okay so that's the thing we are doing here. we are just checking if count is greater than the required amount of count then we will just keep on removing at the whatever location is there okay so that's the thing we are doing it here and next we have our rewind time function which we wrote which we used up there so we are writing it here right now so we will just check if time snapshots dot count is greater than zero means the list that we had contains at least some position and rotation not null like at least some position has been stored then only we will use this thing here we will create a time snapshot which is the structure that we created above and the variable name this and a time snapshot of zero which we will take it from the position this will hold the position rotation so this will be assigned to this snapshot here okay this is just a variable storing the thing like a copy variable then we will take the transform dot position of the player and insert it and we will just assign the position with the snapshots position okay so suppose a player was there who moved with one position in x and did a one unit of rotation in x direction so we will just assign it into the position and rotation so that the player will follow that thing next we will just remove the time snapshot at zero means the whatever first will be there we will just remove it remove it there okay then next we have otherwise we will just stop rewind if the thing is the list is only empty then what's the use of rewinding it there so that's why we will stop rewind next there is a function for keeping track like start rewind we used up for starting rewind if we just call this function this is rewinding will be set to true which means the rewinding can start and another is stop rewind which will set rewinding to false which will stop the rewind so overall this is the code here and i hope it's like uh, somewhat understandable for you i tried my best to make you understand the whole code and hope this will be helpful for you so this is the code part here and let's see what are the values that we set in unity so in the capsule player here we attached the rewind script here as you can see and i've just put a value of 5 and 2 just for the, as a default value okay and now if you just hit play now you can see your player will be moving which is just cause the movement script whatever movement script you are using okay like left right up down and if you hold r you will see it will rewind back to its position 
for up to 5 seconds then it will stop then it won't go much farther back than 5 seconds before one that's all i think this uh, was uh, pretty easy and uh, hope you have understood this well so this was the first lecture of our introductory course which was the time rewind and you can just use it as a power up like you can apply it to a object and once the player collides with it this script gets added to the player and this thing ability will be there like that you can just modify it and use it like however you want so that's it for today next uh, next will be on time stopping so that's all for today and hope you all are doing well and have a great day bye